Hi folks, welcome to video series presented by Integration Bytes. In this video, I am going to show you how to integrate MuleSoft with Azure Storage. I am Mohammad Akib and working as MuleSoft developer since last few years. You should have Azure portal account and if you don't have that account, you can go to portal.azure.com and create a free, free account and you should have some basics of Azure storage and if you don't have that knowledge, we will be creating Azure storage in this video. You should be basics level or on expert level for MuleSoft and any point studio. Okay, let's move on and see what we will cover in this video. We will be creating Azure storage account. We will be uploading and downloading Azure blob using MuleSoft. And in the end, we will see a demo how things work together. Okay, let's move on to Azure portal and see how to get started. First, you should see a resource group. And you can click here to create a resource group. I already have created resource group, which is demo resource group. How you can create, you can click it. It's loading. Once this is loaded, you should see subscription, select your subscription plan and name your resource group, which should be for anything, whatever you would like to give the name is I have already gotten this demo resource group. You should not see a validation. Like if you click group one, you should see that this is correct name that you can take and select region whatever region you would like to select i will keep it as default and you can click review and create once you click here you should create a resource group once the resource group is created here we will utilize it for a storage account go to search bar and search for storage accounts once you are here you should see i have created a storage account which is integration bytes as a storage account how you can create you can click on add here uh, this is loading and once you see the screen to fill the fields you should be typing the name of storage account it's taking longer let's refresh and uh, you should see storage account here and click add Once we are here, you can name storage account from storage account name like storage account one, right? The storage account name is already taken. So you should have any unique name, right? It's just a random number. So we don't type it to give it proper name and then select resource group, which is demo resource group, which we just created. Once you're done with this, keep these settings as it is, or if you want to change, you can change these settings, review and create. Once you create, uh, you should see a storage account created like this integration bytes storage account. Click on your storage account and go to containers and within containers, create a container. I have created integration bytes container. You can also create your own container and name it like integration bytes okay and it is already in use so you can create anything and then select blob you can select container as well as for private but in our case we will be working on blobs click create and then you should see a container created here <laughs> right okay so the settings and configurations for azure storage is completed now let's move on to mulesoft and see how we can create a flow to download and upload the blobs to Azure storage. So here is the MuleSoft project that contains two flows, one for uploading blob and the other one is for downloading blob. We have an HTTP listener here and for which the configuration is port 8081 and host as localhost. Whenever this API is triggered, which is deployed on MuleSoft, 
this upload block operation from azure storage gets triggered if you don't see this azure storage component here search in exchange right and from here you can select upload block and drag it here once you see upload block here you can configure it for connector configuration we can add configuration is account name would be integration by its storage account that we just created and for account key we have this endpoint from so how we can get these uh, entities or fields we can go to azure storage and you can see this is integration by its storage account this is the name of account and for access key click here and this is the connection string just copy these values and pass it to account key and test the connection which should succeed click ok and for general setting of upload block operation we need to select add it in line for store block and for container we have integration bytes that we just created okay and for data or for file name the file name would be data.json and for file stream it would be payload whatever would be received as payload from request right and then we are transforming the data as a response which would get as a response to json and printing it as logger right and let's go back to azure storage okay and uh, the session is expired let me re-log in while this is loading we can go to rest client and send the request to that api which was upload and the data would be json this is the json data that i have created and click on send once the data is uploaded as blob like blob is uploaded to azure storage we can get response as true right you can go and see in console that we have also got true here now let's move on and see in container okay in the storage accounts uh, integration by storage account and then container and integration by its the container name and here we see the data.json the configuration we saw from Microsoft. so this is the same data that we just sent through rest client so the blob has been uploaded now how to download this blob you can go to another flow and this is the same http listener for this we have path as download and for download blob you can find download blob from operations here and configure download blob for global configuration or configuration for connector should be same as for upload but the difference would be here the container name is still same integration bytes and the file name is data.json right when the data is received or downloaded from blob we can configure or we can transform it to json so we will see now send the request to download and we will receive the data that was just uploaded to blob so this is the downloading blob flow let's go to and see here the data has been downloaded and data still exists here in integration bytes container so that's all for the video session Thank you for watching this video. If you like the videos, please subscribe to my channel and hit bell icon to get more such exciting videos.